What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and on today's episode we are going to talk about the proper way of getting rid of Freon, evacuating your system, vacuuming your system, and recharging your system. And this can be used for any vehicles, Chevy Avalanche, whatever it is that you have, this can be used. So here is the question of the day from Peter Zhang. Peter asks, how do you let the Freon out? Is it okay to just open it and have it go out? Will it affect the vacuum system on the vehicle? Anyway, could you, I think he wanted to say uh, elaborate on this, but he put evaluate on this. So Peter, here you go. First things first, there are two ways of doing this. One, the illegal way and one, the legal way. Now I prefer and recommend you do the legal way because you can get in a lot of trouble doing the illegal way. You can get hefty fines. So basically the illegal way, we're going to start off with that and I, I don't know if people are probably going to say I shouldn't have to say it, but it's common sense. Everybody knows the illegal way for you to just let it go freely out into the atmosphere. That is 100% illegal. First off, it's very dangerous to the earth. It's very dangerous to the ozone layer. Don't do that. Um, there is res You have to be environmentally responsible when you're using Freon. Um, you also should be licensed. If you have no idea what you're doing with the air conditioning system, do not mess with it because it's also very dangerous. If it gets on your skin, there is potential of frostbite. Uh, it can cause a lot of issues. So if you don't know what you're doing, take it to someone who does and be very, very, very responsible with it. Um, the fact that it there are illegal ways of this, like to just let it out in the system, let it out in the atmosphere and stuff, that's illegal. But I don't get why they just freely freely sell it in cans in AutoZone and Advanced Auto and places like that. So sometimes it makes me think like, what 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 is it really like? If it's illegal, it shouldn't be out to the public who sometimes have no idea what they're doing or 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 what I don't know. It should just be behind the desk for people who actually know what they're doing and they're the only ones who can get it. But whatever, this is America. Everything is free. Cool. <clears throat> Besides that rant. Now, we're going to talk about the legal way, which I 100% recommend doing. And if you do not have any of these equipment, try to get the equipment and watch videos. Don't even, you know what? Take it to someone who knows what they're doing if you've never messed with the air conditioning system before. Now, the legal way is you need a recovery machine, an air conditioning recovery machine. Um, on the recovery machine, there is a tank, right? With That holds the Freon, the R134, whatever your system has. Now, when you click recover, it pulls it in through the lines, holds it into the tank. Once it holds it into the tank, um, you can then, you, your, your system is empty. Once you know that your system is empty, the computer screen on the, the recovery machine will tell you zero pounds empty. Cool. You take your time, you open the, um, now I usually recover it twice just to make sure it comes back zero because sometimes mistakes happen another thing you can do is just slowly press the tab and press the little um valve and make sure that nothing comes out but um anyway what you want to do is after everything's recovered replace whatever components you need to replace your little valves your whatever you know condenser whatever you have to replace after you replace that you want to put a vacuum on the system now i typically put a vacuum on for 20 30 minutes and when the vacuum's on, then I close my gauges. And so you want to put a vacuum on the system for about like 20, 30 minutes. Um, shut the vacuum off and see if the pressure holds. Make sure that um, the system is sealed. Once you figure out that the system is 100% sealed, continue vacuuming it. Literally just wait for the whole hour to go by. Once it's completely vacuumed, then you go to, you know, press the button on the machine to recharge the system. Once you recharge the system, turn on your air conditioning, put in a little um, dial gauge or something, and or you can get something like this, a temperature kit, which I actually have. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for this. It's pretty cool, it works great. You don't even have to be in the car with this. Just put this in the air conditioning vent and you could walk anywhere with this little monitor and it'll tell you the, the temperature. But, um, Definitely, <clears throat> once you turn on the air conditioning and stuff, you'll see if it needs more, if it needs less, if it's blowing cold, whatever. 
um, usually on the car itself or the truck or whatever you're working on, it, there's a little placard that tells you how much refrigerant to put in from the dealer. That's once the system's empty. Um, if you're replacing like the compressor, sometimes you may need to add pad oil to it, um, which helps lubricate the entire system, make sure nothing you know goes on dry, dry rots, whatever. Um, always, always, always vacuum the system. If you do not vacuum the system, potential of moisture in there, well, not potential, there will be moisture in there, you will damage things over time. So, always have the vacuum in the system, always use this responsibly. If you, like, I'm gonna say this one more time, man, if you have not ever in your life interfered with an air conditioning system, and you wanna try, take it as someone that you trust who knows what they're doing and learn with them for the first time. But if you've never done it before, please do not do this by yourself. It's, I mean, you could do whatever you want. It's just me. I just have to tell you the dangers behind it. You can get frostbite if that touches your skin. Um, if you're not safe with it, it, it does affect the environment really, really bad. I don't know why they even make things like this that affect the environment when they should just like we're in 2021 we should have things that are super environmentally friendly that's really not going to cause harm i don't know why we have things continuing today to this day that causes harm i it just baffles me but um it, it puts holes in the ozone layers um apparently and stuff like that but just be careful with what you're doing be responsible and that's my two cents on what i have to do Y'all like the little fresh shape up though. I'm trying to show that, yeah. But anyway, um, I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you guys so much for giving me tons and tons of topics to talk about. So I'm actually working on filming everything right now. Well, majority of what I can. But thank you guys again. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys for the next video. And Peter, good luck. Peace out.